in your time, Lord, in your time. Man, that's hard. That is a hard thing to do, y'all. If you're trying to do it, then you know. Uh, trying to do things in his time and be patient for his time is, uh, man, it can be really hard. <laughs> uh, I, for one, am, uh, I try not to acknowledge that time truly exists, of course. Uh, that is merely a construct of our, our mind. But, nonetheless, I still exist as a, an extremely impatient person, um, especially when it comes to God's blessings or instructions. I'm like, okay, God, good. Ooh, hey, you worked this thing out in me once. That must be enough, right? You did it, so it's got to be great. What's next? Now what'll be to you? And lately, he's kind of been answering those things, but it's never, it hasn't been with like, okay, now you get to do this. Go be a blessing, blank, blank, blank. It's been like, oh, you're ready. Okay, here. How about this area then? And then he'll work on that one and and, uh, and uh, disabuse me of my notions. Um, so thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, it's all good, literally. Not, not like it's all good, but it's all good. Um, and why is it good? Romans 6.12 Therefore do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in its lusts. And do not present your members as instruments of righteousness, unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. And I love that. And that is kind of... Uh, ultimately... The, the, the crux of joy, <laughs> the, the sort of, uh, one of many, but ultimately the crux of joy in the Christian life and in my life is, uh, is my gratitude to God and my joy comes from uh, being saved. Um, and saved was not me, uh, saved was him um, saving me and therefore... I'm just dang grateful for having that which is crooked within me made straight. And then, and now I have a relationship now with him, and therefore, like, he can actually guide me towards making my, my path straight. Uh, like, my soul was made straight through no, uh, through no really involvement uh, of my own, other than, I guess, probably not delaying it by being this expression especially, that's right, I said that, especially willful, um, and trying to flee from, uh, from that understanding he was trying to give me, um, but everything really builds from that, from, from joy of, from joy of that salvation, and when it's kind of like, when I kind of sat in that knowledge, or, or in that joy for the first time, it's really like, as a, a, a younger person, is when I was like, I have to walk in this. Um, and recently I've been re-impressed by it as a, as a solid foundation for everything because it keeps it from being, you must do this and you must do this and you must do this, and which can be off-putting to people, I think, um, certainly off-putting to me. Now, granted, there's that in there as well, but the you must do this, you must do this is going to offend our nature as human beings. It offended my nature as a human being. But God in his grace transforms forms your very nature and sacrificed that which was precious to him, that which was him, in order to atone for for my for my scabby soul. And how can I not be joyful about that? I got saved. Someone's literally someone saved my life. And now through that saving my life, then told me how to how to be righteous and helpful to people like how can I not just live in absolute joy and how can that not fuel my uh, works after that you know what I mean works themselves really do nothing um, other than you know make somebody's day a little sweeter or whatever that seems completely useless but divinely useless and eternally useless so not only did it save my life then he also gave me a purpose I mean imagine if someone just did that if you were like 
someone was shooting at you and someone went and took that gun out of that person's hand and said, don't shoot that person anymore, and then walked over to you and was like, hi, I just saved your life, and check it out. If you uh, do this, this, and this, you actually will lead a, a righteous life, spend eternity in glory, and uh, bear fruit and spread truth to all those around you. I'd be like, hey, please don't shoot me with that gun you just took. And B, sweet. So I'm going to try to live in that joy today. Maybe that'll help me with my patience. Maybe.